Hi everyone, it's Femila Nia here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a complete Binance tutorial and how to trade crypto on Binance. Now, this video will be a full guide for beginners and I'll be covering every aspect of the Binance platform. I'll be showing you how you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies on Binance. I will be showing you how to deposit your crypto from another crypto app to your Binance app. And also, I will be showing you how you can withdraw your crypto from Binance to another crypto app. Also, in this video, I will be showing you how to trade cryptocurrencies for both spot and futures trading. And also, I will be showing you the different ways you can make passive income on Binance without trading. So if you are new to the Binance app, ensure you watch this video to the end because there is a lot to learn about the Binance app and how to make money on the app. But before I go on, if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Femi Alanio. I am a crypto trader and I make videos on personal finance, cryptocurrencies, and how to make money online. So if you love content like this, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and please like this video so a lot of people can see this video. Thank you. Now, as you can see, guys, I'm on the Binance homepage and at the top right here, you can see this is where you have the menu, you have buy crypto, you have market, you have trade, you have derivatives and finance, NFT, institutional, and you have feed right here. And if you scroll down right here, you see that you have the prices of different popular cryptocurrencies right here. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll be seeing other details about the Binance platform. So these are the things that you have on the homepage. Now to the main thing of this video. The first thing I'll be talking about is how to buy crypto on the Binance app. So if you are a beginner, you are looking for how to buy crypto on Binance, you come here to where you have buy crypto right here, where the arrow is pointing to, or where you have the cursor. And then right here, you can see that you can buy crypto through three different ways. You can pay with bank deposits, you can pay with your credit or debit card, and you can pay with cash balance. Now, you can only use these three different methods if the fiat currency of your country is EUR. So, for example, I am from Nigeria. So, I'm going to change this to NGN because of the fiat currency for Nigeria. So, I'm going to change this to NGN right here. So, you just search for the fiat currency of your country right here. So, you can see this NGN for Nigeria. So, I'll just tap on it right here. And once you tap on it, you will see that it has changed to another three different methods. So, you have bank transfer here, you have credit or debit card, and then you have P2P trading. Now, if you can remember, when it was on EUR, we didn't have P2P trading right here. So let me show you guys. So if you change this to um EUR, you see that you don't have P2P trading right here. You have bank deposit, credit or debit card, and you have cash balance. So let me change it back to NGN right here. So you change it to NGN. So make sure that you have this as the fiat currency of your country. So these are the three different ways you can buy crypto on Binance if you are from Nigeria. Now let me show you the first example so you can know which one is the best for you. So out of this bank transfer, credit or debit card and P2P trading. Now for the first one right here which is bank transfer you can deposit via cash link. Now let me show you how. Now once you tap on bank transfer from the previous page it's going to take you to the page you have on your screen. So the first thing is to select the currency you want to buy. So these are from Nigeria I'm going to be selecting NGN right here. Now what how this works is that you buy NGN through Cashly and then you use that NGN to buy whichever cryptocurrency you want to buy on the Binance platform, whether through convert method or on the spot trading page. And I'll be showing you how to do that later in this video. So make sure you continue watching. Now, after you selected NGN right here, the next thing is to select either bank transfer or e-wallet. So you select bank transfer right here. And once you've done that, you come here and tap on continue. Now, once you've done that, you enter the amount of NGN you want to buy. So let's, for example, I want to buy 100,000 Naira worth of NGN. So I'll put in 100,000 Naira right there. And when you have account number right here, so this is my account details right here. Like this is my bank details. Now, this is only useful when you are the one selling. So if you want to sell, you put your account details here. So the person can send you the money and then you release the NGN to the person or to the person that wants to buy from you. So this does not, this is not um, necessary if you are buying right now. And then the next thing is payment method. So we are paying through bank transfer. And then you can see the amount you are paying, which is 100,000 Naira. And then the merchant's fee is 300 Naira. That is the person you are buying from is taking a fee of 300 Naira. So you have to take note of that. These sellers will require you to pay a particular fee to them. So make sure that you are aware of that. So if you see anybody asking you for fee, if you are buying through cash link, don't be surprised. It is mandated by them to ask you for a fee. 
Some may even charge as high as 500, some charge as low as 100 naira. So this is telling us that we are going, this person is telling us we are going to be paying him 300 naira as a merchant fee. Now the next thing is that you'll be transferring 100,000 naira to this person when you tap on continue right here. And right here, you'll be seeing the amount you are going to be receiving. So that means you'll be receiving 99,700 NGN. So that means that you transfer 100,000 naira to this person and then you will receive 99,700 naira because of the merchant fee you are paying. So the next thing is to come here and tap on continue. Now once you tap on continue, you'll be seeing the account details person you want to transfer the money to and once you transfer the money to the person you confirm the transaction and you'll be getting 99,700 NGN into your wallet now I'm not going to be doing this transaction now because I don't have intention of buying NGN now so that was just a simple way to buy through cash link now like I said earlier I'll be showing you how you can convert that NGN to any crypto of your choice whether Bitcoin ETH BNB or any crypto I'll be showing you later in this video but before that, let's go on to the second way to buy crypto, which is through your credit or debit card. Now, if you're in Nigeria and you know or you don't know, the CBN, that is the Central Bank of Nigeria, has mandated all banks to block any account that is dealing with cryptocurrency. So if you are dealing with cryptocurrency directly with your bank card or even through your bank account, your account is going to be so I would advise that you don't try to buy through this credit or your debit card. Don't try that. I might be asking you what about cash link. No. Cash link is like a middleman between your bank account and your Binance account. So it is not directly from your bank to Binance trade. So cash link is like the middleman right here. But when you are using your debit or credit card, there is no middleman right here. So be careful. Now the third way is through P2P trading. So let me show you how to do that. Now as you can see on the screen, I'm on the Binance P2P page. And right here is where you can buy or sell cryptocurrencies with your fellow Binance users. So for this, you're not buying from Binance, you're buying from a user like you. Now, let me show you how. The first thing you need to do is to change this fiat currency to the currency of your country, just like I did for Cashly. So the first thing right here, you come here and tap on NGN right here, and I pick NGN, and that is because I'm from Nigeria. So all, everything right here will change to people that are selling or buying NGN or that are selling or buying from Nigeria. Let me put it that way. So after you've done that, the next thing is to come here and pick buy right here. So you can see you can buy or sell. So say you are buying, tap on buy right here. And then the next thing is to select the cryptocurrency you want to buy. So, so you can see right here, aside from NGN, so you can see NGN right here, you can buy other cryptocurrencies. You can buy USDT, BTC, BUSD, BMB, ETH, and SOL. So let's say for example, you want to buy USDT. So you pick USDT right here. And then you come right here and enter the amount of USDT you want to buy. But you enter it in NGN, that is in Naira. So let's for example, you want to buy 100 USDT. That means 100 USDT is about 700 and uh, 7,000 7, Naira, sorry. So you enter 77,000 7, Naira right here. So that means you'll be buying, I think it should be between $95 to $100. And after you enter the amount right here in Naira, then come here and pick the payment method. So how do you want to pay? Do you want to pay through bank transfer or payment or whichever payment you want to use? So I'll be using bank transfer right here. And right here, to bring out to you, the people who are ready to sell that amount of USDT to you right here. So you can see the first person here is Mr. Fibonacci. And this person has done 3,420 orders. And this person has completed 90% of those orders. So this person is selling USDT for 772 Naira, which is good. And right here, you can see that this person has, is selling between 40,000 Naira to 200,000 Naira. So which is um, between your range. So you see, you want to buy um, 77,000 Naira worth of USDT. So once you want to buy like that, the next thing is to come here and tap on buy USDT. So once you tap on buy USDT, you'll be seeing terms and conditions of the seller. And we advise that you always read the terms and conditions of every seller you deal with on the Binance P2P page. And right here, you come here to the amount you want to pay. So don't forget, you want to pay 77,000 Naira. So once you enter 77,000 Naira, you've seen the amount of USDT you will receive. So that means you're going to be receiving 99.74 USDT. And once you've done that, you come here and tap on buy USDT. Now, we'll not be tapping here because once you tap on buy USDT, it will be showing you the account details of the person you want to transfer to. And then you go to your bank app, transfer 77,000 Naira to the person and once the person confirms the amount you're going to be receiving this amount of USDT in your wallet 
So that is the simple way to buy your crypto on Binance, whether through Cashlink or through Binance P2P. Now, one thing I want you to take note of is that whether you are buying through Cashlink or you are buying through P2P trading, the crypto that you are buying will be showing under your funding wallet. So don't expect to see it under your spot wallet or under your margin wallet or maybe end wallet or features wallet. No. Once you buy the crypto, it will be showing under your funding wallet. Now, let me show you how to check your wallet and how to differentiate between each wallet. Now, to check your wallet, you come right here to the right side of the screen and then you tap on wallet right here. So, we tap on wallet and now let's tap on overview first. Now, as you can see on the screen, this is the wallet overview. This is where you see the total amount of money or crypto that you have in your Binance account. And you have various wallets. So, I'll be showing you the various wallets and how to differentiate between them. Now, if you scroll down, you see that you have Fiat and Spot Wallet. Now, whatever cryptocurrency or money that you have under the Fiat or Spot Wallet is used only for spot trading. So, if you want to take any spot trading, you transfer your cryptocurrency to your Fiat and Spot Wallet so that you can be able to take that spot trade. So, let's say, for example, you just bought crypto and then it's showing under your funding wallet. Remember, I said that if you buy crypto through P2P or through Cashlink, it will be showing under your funding wallet. So let's say that you're showing on your funding wallet and you need to do um, spot trading. And you have to transfer that crypto from your funding wallet to your fiat and spot wallet. So that's for fiat and spot. Now for funding wallet, it'll be showing you the cryptocurrencies you bought through Cashlink or through P2P. Or maybe someone should send you crypto through Binance Pay. It'll be showing under the funding wallet. So you need to take note of that. Now for cross margin and isolated margin. Now, you can only use whatever cryptocurrency you have in this wallet for your margin trading. Remember, we have cross margin trading and isolated margin trading. So, whatever cryptocurrencies you have here, it can only be used for your margin trading account. Now, if you scroll down again, you have your USD SM futures and Coin M futures. Now, whatever cryptocurrencies you have right here will be used for your futures trading account. So, if you want to take any futures trades, then you need to have cryptocurrencies right here and the difference between usdsm features is that you can only use usdt to trade while for coin air features you can use cryptocurrencies to trade we'll be talking more about that once we get to the futures trading section now the next one is where you have n right here so for here here's where you have like cryptocurrencies that you are staking or that you have in your savings account in your lock staking account you have them on that is n wallet and then for options right here this is where you can have cryptocurrencies for options right here if you want to do um, options trading this is where you have the cryptocurrency right here and for trading boards if you want to do binance trading board you have your cryptocurrency right here now before i go to the next thing let me show you how to transfer your money or your cryptocurrency from one wallet to another so let's say for example you want to transfer uh, you want to do sport trading and then you have money in your futures wallet account let's say you have money in your usdsm futures wallet account I want to transfer to maybe your um, spot wallet because you want to do spot trading. Then you can just come here to where you have transfer right here at the top right here. Tap on transfer. And then right here, you pick where you are transferring from to where you want to transfer to. So you can see here, it's already showing us from Fiat and Sport to USDSM Futures. But we want to do the opposite. We want to transfer from Futures to the Fiat and Sport wallet. So once you see that it's like this, just click on this interchange um, icon right here. So what's the big is you can see that's changed from USDSM futures to fiat and sport. So and then let's say for example want to transfer USDT. So just come here and pick USDT right here. So once you pick USDT, then you enter the amount of USDT you want to and send or you want to transfer. So let's for example you want to transfer all, you pick max, or if it's that you want to transfer a particular amount, you just come here and let's say you want to transfer hundred dollars, just pick hundred dollars right there. And tap on confirm. And once you tap on confirm, the hundred dollars will be your sport wallet. And then you can now go to your uh, sport trading account or sport trading page and carry out your trade. So that's how you can transfer from one wallet to another. And one important thing is that let's say, for example, you have money in your sport wallet and you want to sell it through PHP or Cashly. What you need to do is to first transfer from your sport wallet to your funding wallet, which is very, very important. So if you have money in your sports wallet and you want to sell through p2p you need to transfer it first to your funding wallet so as you do your funding wallet then you go to your p2p page and you sell it just like how i've shown you previously so these are the different kinds of wallets you have in your finance account and what they are used for now the next thing i'm going to be showing you guys is how to deposit crypto on binance 
So let's say, for example, you have crypto on another platform. Let's say like KuCoin, Bybit, or any other crypto platform, and you want to transfer it to your Binance account. This is how to go about it. The first thing you need to do is to come here to where you have deposit right here, and you tap on deposit, and then you tap on crypto deposit. So you can see, I already have crypto. I want to transfer them to it. So you tap on that. Now, the next thing is to select the cryptocurrency you want to deposit on Binance. So you can see right here, you have USDT, BTC, TRX, BNB, Alvia. So let's, for example, want to deposit USDT. So you pick USDT right here. And the next thing is to select the network. Now, you can see that you have various networks right here. So you pick whichever one you want to use. So for me, I always use TRC20 for USDT. So once you pick that, they need to show you the deposit address or the wallet address. I can see that the minimum amount you can deposit in this address is 0.01 USDT. So the next thing is to copy this wallet address right here. So you click to copy right here, and then you go to the second crypto app where you want to transfer from and do your transaction. So let me show you how to do that. And the app I'm going to be using is Bybit. So as you can see right here, I'm on the Bybit platform. So the next thing you need to go to is to go to your wallet buy it and then i'll come to my assets right here this is where you have your wallet on that asset and i tap on withdraw so remember you are drawing from buy it and you're depositing on binance that's what we are actually doing so you come here and tap on withdraw right here now you need to make sure that you have that amount in your sports wallet on the other app already so for example the amount on the transfer let's say is on my sports wallet already and just come here to where you have withdraw so this is the withdraw icon right here. you can tap on withdraw at the top right here but to make it easy, let's tap on withdraw besides sports right here. And just tap on withdraw right there. And then the next thing is to enter the crypto you want to withdraw. So let's say for example, I want to withdraw USDT right here. I'll just tap on USDT. And then the next thing is to enter the wallet address that I just copied on Binance. So once you've done that, then you paste it right here. Don't forget to always copy from Binance. Next thing is to pick the chain type, that is the network. Don't forget the network on Binance. If you check Binance, the network I selected right here is TRC20. You need to make sure that the network is correct or is the same as this place. Because there are some platforms that if you pick the wrong network and you send it, your crypto is gone for life and you won't see it. So you need to make sure that the wallet address and the network or chain type, they are the same. So you come here and pick TRC20, which is the year right here. And then right here, I'm going to enter the amount I want to transfer. So let's say I want to transfer 200 USDT. And then you pick 200 USDT right there, and then you tap on submit. Now, once you tap on submit, they will just send you a code to just verify that it is you. And once you've done that, in one or two minutes, you'll be getting that crypto in your Binance wallet. So that crypto will come under your spot wallet on Binance. So that's the simple way for you to deposit your crypto from another crypto app to your Binance app. It is very simple and straightforward. What you just need to take note of is the wallet address and the network. Now, that's for deposit. Now, let's say, for example, you want to transfer your crypto or withdraw your crypto from Binance app to another crypto app, let's say Bybit app. Now, what you need to do again is to go back. So, let's go back to the wallet page and let's tap on withdraw. So, once you are here on the wallet page right here, just tap on withdraw right here. Now, after tapping on withdraw, the next thing is to select the coin you want to withdraw from Binance to Bybit. So, let's say, for example, I want to withdraw Bitcoin. It's already on BTC right here. Now, the next thing is to come here and paste your wallet address. Now, to paste our wallet address, you go and copy it from Bybit. So, I'm going to go back to Bybit right now. And then, once you go back to Bybit, so you come here and tap on deposit right here. And then, select the crypto right here, which is BTC. Let's say it's BTC. And then, your chain type is BTC. For BTC, the only chain type you have is BTC. And then, you come here and see deposit will be performed directly via sports accounts. Okay, acknowledge. And I just show you your wallet address. So you copy this wallet address right here from your Bybit. And then you go to your Binance. And then you paste it right here. So you can see the network has been automatically picked right here. This is BTC. Then you enter the amount of BTC you want to transfer or withdraw from Binance to Bybit. And once you've done that, to come here, you see your network fee. So you are paying 0 0.00025 BTC as your fee. And then once you've done that, you come here and tap on withdraw right here. I can't tap on withdraw right here because I didn't enter any amount. So you can tap on withdraw right here. And then you'll be sent a code again to your email or your phone number to verify it that it is you. And then in one or two minutes, you'll be seeing that crypto in your spot wallet on Bybit.
So this is just a simple way for you to deposit crypto on Binance or for you to withdraw crypto from Binance to another crypto app. And I hope you understand that. Now that you guys know the basic things to do on Binance, which is to buy and sell cryptocurrencies and to deposit and withdraw cryptocurrencies, the next thing I'll be showing you guys is how to trade crypto on Binance. That is spot and futures trading. Those are the main types of trading I'll be dealing with in this video. And then after that, we'll move to how to end passive vehicle Binance. Before I go into how to trade crypto, if you watch this video to this point and you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. Thank you. Now to how to trade crypto on Binance. Now you can see where you have market right here. We have market right here. This is where you can see the market overview on Binance. That is just to check out the crypto market with real time prices and key data on Binance. So to check that, you tap on market overview right here. Now we are on the market overview page and right here where my push up is, you see that you have the highlight coins right here. That is the big cryptocurrencies. You have BNB, you have BTC, you have ETH. You can see their prices right here. You can see BNB is currently 305 USDT. Um, BTC is $26,000. ETH is $1.79,000. I've seen how they move up or down the last 24 hours. You've seen it right here. And right here, you can see the new listings on Binance. So these are the new listings on Binance. And then you can see the top gainers on Binance in the last 24 hours right here. So Apple has gone 62% in the last 24 hours. And then you can see the cryptocurrencies with the top volume right here. And then if you scroll down, you see all the cryptocurrencies you can find on Binance right here. So if you want to see more, just scroll down to where you have this one, two, three. You can see all the cryptocurrencies right there or you just come here and search for the name of any cryptocurrency you are looking for and if you want to look for cryptocurrencies you can trade on the spot trading account just come here and tap on sports market so you tap on sports market you see the different cryptocurrencies you can trade right here you can trade btc usdt ETH, usdt these are the different markets you can trade with usdt if you want to trade with let's say bsd you just come here and pick bsd right here and then you can see you can, these are the cryptocurrencies you can trade with BSD. Here is I want to trade with BTC. Come here to BTC. These are the different cryptocurrencies you can trade with BTC. And also, if you want to do futures trades, then just come to futures market. So that these are the different cryptocurrencies you can trade on the futures trading account. You can see everything, right? And you want to check out the new listings right here. So these are the new listings on Binance right here. Now, if you come back to where you have all cryptos right here, so let me go back to where I have all cryptos. Now, if you come back right here, now if you see that you have some information for each cryptocurrency right here. So for BTC, you have the price, you have the change in the last 24 hours, you have the 24 hour volume, and you have the market cap right here. So you'll be seeing all the details for these cryptocurrencies right here. Now, this change means that how it has gone up or down in the last 24 hours. That means that Bitcoin has gone down by 3.5%. In the last 24 hours and then the 24 hour volume that is the amount of that cryptocurrency that people have traded in the last 24 hours so people have traded 14.42 billion dollars worth of btc in the last 24 hours and then the market cap you don't know what market cap is market cap is the market value of that crypto so right now crypto is worth 510 billion dollars right now so you'll be seeing that for other cryptocurrencies ETH, USDT, and so on. And one more thing before I go to the next thing. If you want to choose some cryptocurrencies to check out regularly, that you want to put them under your favorite. So you can see right here, I have some cryptocurrencies right here under my favorite. So if you come here to favorite right here, you see that I have some cryptocurrencies right here under my favorite that I always check from time to time. So if you want to check some cryptocurrencies from time to time, and just add them to your favorite right here. Now let's go to the spot trading page and let me show you guys what the spot trading page is all about and how to take trades on the spot trading page. You come right here to where you have trade right here and then you pick spots right here. So once you pick a spot, you take it to the spot trading page. So right now I'm on the spot trading page on Binance. Now right here, you see that you have some information on your screen. Now we'll be explaining details of this information to you guys because i know a lot of beginners don't know what a lot of things on this page actually mean now the first thing you have right here at the top left corner is your market that is the market you are trading and for this i'm trading btc usdt so let's for example you want to trade another market 
what you just need to do is just come right here and pick it right here. So if you want to trade like ADA BTC, just pick it right here. Or let's say, let me change it to USDT. I trade with USDT. So if you want to pick like ADA USDT, pick it right here. If you want to trade ADX USDT, or if it's just, let's say ETH USDT, just search for it. ETH USDT. So you can see it right here and you just pick it right there. But let's still leave it at BTC USDT. Let's leave it at that. And then beside it, you come here, you see the price of the market you are trading. So BTC right now is $26,343. And you can see the 24 hour change. And that is how it has gone up or down in the last 24 hours, like I said earlier. And then you can see where you have 24 hour high and 24 hour low. Now, what's the meaning of this? Now, the 24 hour high is showing the highest amount this cryptocurrency has gone up to in the last 24 hours. And the 24 hour low is showing the lowest amount this crypto has gone down to in the last 24 hours. This means that crypto has gone up to $27,329 in the last 24 hours. And it has gone down to $26,080 in the last 24 hours. So that's the meaning of this 24 hour high, 24 hour low. For those of you that don't know, and also when you have 24 hour volume bracket BTC and 24 hour volume bracket USDT, this is showing you the amount of that cryptocurrency that has been traded. So for this one right here with bracket BTC, this means that people have traded 46,752 BTC in the last 24 hours, which is crazy. This is insane. People have traded a lot of BTC in the last 24 hours. And that amount in dollars or in USDT is this. So this is like around $1.2 billion, if I'm correct, because it is too long to pronounce. This is like $1.2 billion. So this is just showing you the volume or the amount of that cryptocurrency people have traded in the last 24 hours. So I hope you understand all these numbers you can see at the top right here. Now, the next thing, if you come to the left side of the screen, where you have some digits in red right here, and in the screen, I have some digits in green right here now this is where you have your order book. order book now what's the meaning of order book the order book is showing you the people who are currently buying or selling in this market right now so this is showing you people who are currently selling for the red one while the green one is showing you people who are currently buying right now so it's showing you people that are taking trades or that are buying or selling in this market that's the meaning of this order book now you can see you have a number in the middle the number in the middle is showing you the price of that cryptocurrency the price of Bitcoin right here is $26,300 right here. So that's what you have at the left side of the screen right here. Now, if we come to the other side of the screen, that is the right side of the screen. Like I said earlier, this is where you can pick the cryptocurrency or the market you want to trade right here. You know, I've shown you how to do this before. So just come here and search for the cryptocurrency you want to trade right here. Then once you search for it, you pick it right there. And then when you have market trades right here, this is showing the trades that have already happened or the trades that have already gone through. Right here. So these are trades as trades are happening every second. You're seeing it right here. So you can see this is changing almost every second. So people are taking trades almost every second in this market right now. So that's the meaning of this or market trades right here. Now to the main thing where you have this middle um, chart right here on the screen. This is where you have the chart for the market you are trading. Now at the top right here, you can see where you have time, one second, 15 minutes, one hour, and so on. This is where you have the time frame that you can pick for your chart. Now, what does this mean? Now, let's for example, you are picking one second, right? Let me change it to one second. Now, you can see that the candlesticks have changed. Now, this is because your time frame is on one second. Now, what does this mean? This means that every candlestick is showing you how that crypto has gone up or down for that time frame that you are picking. Now, let's for example, you pick like one day time frame. This means that one candlestick, let me make it bold. This means that one single candlestick showing you how a cryptocurrency did in the last one day, that is the last 24 hours. One day is equal to 24 hours. And if you're big, let's say we'll make one hour time frame. So let me pick one hour time frame. This means that one candlestick is showing you how that cryptocurrency has gone up or down in the last one hour. Now, let's say, for example, you want to use technical indicators for your technical analysis. How do you select technical indicators? You come here to where you have indicators right here. We have a technical indicator where the Kuso is. And once you tap on it, we show different indicators that you can select. So you can see you have MA, EMA. MA is moving average, case you don't know. So you have EMA, WMA, EOLL, VOAP, AVL, and so on. And if you tap on sub right here, you can see more indicators that you can select right here. Now I'm going, I'm not going to be showing you how to use the uh, indicators or how to select the indicators. 
I already have videos on how to use some of these indicators on my channel. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link to that playlist in the description below. So there's a playlist that has videos on how to use some of these indicators on my channel. Again, the link to that playlist will be in the description below. But let's say, for example, you want to use, like, let's say, you want to use MA and let's say you want to use MACD for your analysis. Let me remove this follow. Let me remove it. So if you want to use those two indicators, once you pick them, just tap on save. And then you'll be seeing that you can see you have the MA right here and then you have your MACD indicator right here. And once you watch my videos on how to use some of these indicators, you learn how to use these indicators to do your technical analysis. And also, one more thing, if you want to check your chart with trading view on Binance, you can do that. Now, what you just need to do is just change it to where you have trading view right here. So, if you see where you have trading view, just tap on it right here. So, it's take it to the trading view chart for this market. So, you can see that we're on trading view right here. So, this is the trading view chart for BTC USD. So, whether you prefer to use trading view or you want to use the original Binance chart, any one that you prefer is good by you. But for me, I always use the original Binance chart. That's the one I use every time. So, but if you prefer the trading view one, you can always use that. So, that is for the chart. Now, to the next important thing, which is how to actually take trades on the Binance Sport Trading page. Now, to take trades, you scroll down to where you have this right here. So, this is where you can take trades right here. Now, the first thing you need to take note of when you want to take a trade on the spot trading page is the order type or the market order. I can see you have limit order, you have market order, you have top limit order. Now, I'm going to be talking about limit and market order mainly so as not to take too much of our time. Now, you can see right here where you have the limit order. Limit order allows you to set the price at which you want to buy or you want to enter a trade. So, let's for example, you want to enter a spot trade or you want to buy crypto through the spot trading page. Limit allows you to set the price at which you want to buy that crypto. Now, see the price of BTC is currently $26,324. And let's say, for example, you don't want to buy it now. You want to buy at this current price. You want to buy maybe when it comes maybe a little bit down. That's when you want to buy. Then you can do that. That means that you come right here where you have price and enter the price at which you want to buy BTC. So you come right here and you raise this. So let's for example, you want to buy when it goes to $25,000. That is that the price at which you want to buy. We want to enter this spot trade. Once you've entered that, then the next thing is to come here and enter the amount of BTC you want to buy. Now you can enter it directly or you just come here, just slide it to the percentage of USDT you want to spend. So let's say for example, you want to spend 50% of your USDT, just like this to 50% right here. So you can see it's a 50%. That means that you'll be spending $365 and you'll be getting 0.01463 BTC. So this is the amount of BTC you'll be buying if you buy at 25,000 USDT. And once you've done that, just come here and tap on buy. Now, once you tap on buy, the order will be on that open order. Open order means that the order has already gone through. So it's waiting for it to eat the entry price for you to go through. Don't forget to set your entry price at $25,000. So you, this order has already gone through as well. That's all you need to know. So you still have your complete USDT in your spot wallet. So once this BTC gets to $25,000, this order will go through and then you will get your BTC, the amount of BTC you bought, you will get it in your spot wallet instantly. So that is for limit order. And also if you are selling, it's the same thing. You just come here. Let's say you want to sell as $27,000. Just pick $27,000. Enter the amount of BTC you want to sell. And then you just tap on sell. And then once you get to $27,000, the BTC will be sold. So that is just the simple way to use limit order. It allows you to enter the price at which you want to buy or sell. Now, let me cancel this limit order or this open order right here. Cancel it. And then let's go to market order. Now, for market order, it allows you to enter the trade or to buy your, and sell your cryptocurrencies at the current price. That is instantly. So let's say for example, you that person you want to buy it now, you want to wait for it to hit a particular price. You just want to enter the trade immediately. You are going to be picking the market order type. But once you pick the market order type, you see that it's going to give you the chance to enter the price because you're entering at the market price. What you just need to do is just enter the amount of USDT you want to spend. So then if you want to spend like 50% of your USDT again, put it right here. So you are spending $365 for this trade, that is to buy BTC. So once I click on buy BTC right here, you know that will go through immediately and I will have BTC in my sports wallet. 
I think, for example, it has gone up. Let's say it has gone up and I've made profit and I want to sell, return it back to my USDT. The same thing, just come here again. You can see it's on market. Inside the amount of BTC you want to sell, if it's everything, then just tap on sell BTC. And then this BTC will be sold and converted back to USDT. So this is the simple way to carry out spot trades of finance. It's very simple and straightforward. And don't forget, I said, if you want to learn how to use these indicators for your technical analysis, I already have videos on that. The link to the playlist of the videos will be in the description below. So that's the spot trading. The second type of trading we're talking about is the futures trading. Now to go to your futures trading page, you come here to where you have derivatives and you'll be seeing USDSF futures, you have Coiner futures, and you can even see you have Binance futures overview. Now there are two main types of futures trading. You have the USDSF futures and you have the Coin M futures. Now let me differentiate or let me tell you the meaning. Now the USDSF futures means that you are trading or you are taking your futures trades with USDT or BUSD. So you will be trading with only USDT or BUSD for this. While for Coiner futures, you'll be trading with cryptocurrencies. So you'll be trading with BTC, ETH, BMB, Cardano, and so on. So you'll be trading with those cryptocurrencies. But for this video, let's take USDSM futures for example. So if you want to do that, just open this USDSM futures. Right here, we are on the Binance futures trading page. And as you can see right here, again, just like the spot trading page, you have the market you are trading right here. So right here, we are trading BTC USDT. And let's, for example, you want to trade another kind of market, just come here and search for it, or just come here, and scroll and check for the market you want to trade. But let's leave it at BTC USDT. And then below it right here, this is where you'll be seeing your chart. That is where you can do your analysis for this futures trade. So, so the chart is basically the same as the spot trading page. Where you can see your time frame right here. So you can pick your 15 minute time frame, or one hour time frame, or four hour time frame. Don't forget, I explained the meaning of time frame on this four trading page. So it's the same thing as this one. And also, if you want to select your technical indicators, you can see where you have technical indicators right here. So you select them right here and pick this indicator you want to use for your technical analysis. And also, if you want to change it to trading view again, just like this four trading page, you can change it to trading view right here. It's basically the same thing. Right here. And don't forget, if you want to learn how to do the analysis also, don't forget to watch my videos on how to use the technical indicators to do your technical analysis. Again, the link will be in the description below. And also, before I go on, I have a full tutorial on how to do futures trading on Binance. The link to that video will be in the description. It is the best video you can watch to learn how to do futures trading on Binance. And right now, it is the most watched video on my channel. So I'll put the link to that video in the description also you should also check that in case you want to learn and know more about futures trading but i'll still be going into futures trading in this video but it might not be as compressive as the video i'm talking about now the next thing right here is where you have your order book don't forget like i explained on the spot trading page your order book is where you have the trades that people are currently taking in the market so for here this is people who are currently selling or shorting don't forget for futures trading we have longing and shorting so shorting is selling while long gain is buying. So for this red part, this is where you have people who are shorting and the green part, you have people who are long gain the market. And at the extreme right side, this is where you can actually take your trade right here. Now, the first thing you need to take note of is where you have your cross margin and your isolated margin. So if you tap on this, you see you have cross and isolated margin. Now for cross and isolated margin, it is fully explained in the video on how to do futures trading. On Binance. So I will advise you that you really watch it. And also, I have a dedicated video that is solely dedicated to the difference between cross and isolated margin. It is a single video on the differences and similarities between cross and isolated margin. The link to that video will also be in the description below. So make sure you watch the videos to learn the difference between cross margin and isolated margin, which one you should pick. Now, when you have 20 eggs, this is where you can pick your leverage. Now, in case you don't know, leverage allows you to make more money with futures trading. It allows you to make more money and you can also lose a lot of money with leverage, depending on the kind of leverage you are picking. Now, a lot of beginners don't really know how to use this leverage part. And because of that, I've made a dedicated video on how to use leverage and how to use it to make more money for yourself with futures trading. Now, the link to that video will also be in the description below. I highly advise you to watch that video because that video is dedicated to how to use leverage to make more money for yourself with futures trading. In that video, you'll be learning everything you need to know about leverage. So I advise that you watch that. Once again, make sure you watch those videos for cross and isolated margin and for how to use leverage. 
And also, when you have limit and market order type, it's exactly the same thing as you used it on the spot trading page. Now, for the limit order, it allows you to enter the price at which you want to enter the trade. So, for example, you can see right here, Bitcoin is currently $26,290. And let's say, for example, you want to enter when it gets to, let's say, $25,800, for example. So, you enter that. And the next thing is to pick the size you want to put in the right here. So, now, how do you calculate your size on it is not the amount you want to use to trade. So let's say, for example, you want to use like, let's say, $100 to trade out of whatever you have. Let's say, let's say use $100 to trade. Now, instead of just entering $100 right here, you would pick $100 times your leverage. So let's say, for example, you can see our leverage is 20x right here. That means I'm going to be picking 100 times 20. And 100 times 20 is 2,000. So that means that I'll be trading with $2,000. So you enter 2000 right here so that means for this trade i'm using 100 dollars out of my personal wallet and because i'm using 30x leverage that's why i'm able to trade with two thousand dollars if you are using 10x leverage let me change this to 10x leverage if you are using 10x leverage and then you want to use 100 dollars out of your own money that's 100 times 10 which is 1000 so you enter 1000 dollars right here. that's what you are trading with 100 dollars out of your money and because of 10x leverage you are trading with 1000 dollars now in case you don't understand the meaning of leverage i will highly advise you to watch my video how to use leverage to make more money for yourself i explained everything from a to z on how to use leverage on the futures trading page now after you've selected that when you have this tps sale right here is where you can enter your take profit and stop loss for your trade so if you are taking a futures trade and you want to enter your take profit and stop loss you can do that right here so let's say for example you want to long the trade so you can just come here and pick on buy or long to long the trade long means that you are predicting that it will go up or short means that you are predicting that it will come down so you need to always take note of that that's for limit order limit order allows you to enter the price you want to enter the trade now let's say for example you want to pick market order that is you want to enter the trade immediately don't forget that i said market order allows you to enter the trade immediately so what you need to enter is to enter the size that you want to use to trade don't forget again, I said if you are using like $100 out of your money and it's the 10x leverage, then you pick $1,000. So let me pick $1,000 right here. And now once you've done that, let's say we want to long this trade. Just come here and tap on log. But as I've seen, this trade is going down. So let's say, for example, we want to short. Let's say, for example, we want to short. Let's short. Now, let's say, for example, we are shorting the trade. Well, once you take that trade, the trade will be showing under your position right here. See, it's right here. The trade is showing under my position right here so you can see we entered the trade with one thousand dollars showing it now at like seven but that's approximately one thousand dollars and the entry price the price at which we entered the trade so we entered the trade at twenty six thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars and then the mark price that is the current price of the market now the liquidation price is the price at which we are going to get liquidated and this price at which you are going to lose all our money now if the trade should get to this price at all it means you are going to be losing all your money now, right here, you have the margin. That is how much I used to enter the trade, which is $100, as well, $99. And then you can see right here how your trade is moving up or down. So we are currently on 0.78 or 93 um, USDT profit right here. So these are the details you'll be seeing for your trades. Now, let's for example, the trade has gone up. Let's say this trade is on like 10% already. I want to close the trade. You just come here and close right here. Just tap on market. And close once you tap on market and close we closed immediately or well, let's say for example you want to enter the take profit price so let's say for example you didn't enter the take profit price right here where you have this tps cell they enter the take profit right here and you want to enter it after you enter the trade just come here to where you have limits and where you have this price just edit this price to your take profit price so let's say you want to take profit at let's say um twenty six thousand twenty six thousand six hundred dollars Okay, that was a good thing. It's six hundred dollars. So that's the price you want to take your profit. So that means that if this trade should get to twenty six thousand six hundred dollars, your profit will be taken automatically. Or if you want to close your trade here by yourself, just come here and tap on market. And once you tap on market, the trade will be closed instantly. So that is the simple way to carry out future trades on buying. Don't forget again, if you are buying or long it, it means that you are predicting that the price of that market will go up. While if you are selling or shorting, you are predicting that the price of that market will go down. So let's go back to the market of our view again. So the next thing I want to show you is how to convert one cryptocurrency to another on Binance. 
Now to do that, you come here to where you are actually, and you see where you have Binance Convert right here. So you tap on that. So this is the Binance Convert page, which allows you to convert a cryptocurrency to another cryptocurrency. And you can convert using market order or limit order. Don't forget that I said market order allows you to convert instantly that is at market price. That is, the, uh, that is the current price of the market. While limit price allows you to set your own price. That is the price at which you want to do the conversion. So let's use market. Now, if you are converting instantly, the first thing you need to come here is you know we are converted from USDT to BNP. You want to change it. Let's say you want to convert from another cryptocurrency. Just tap right here and select the cryptocurrency you want to convert. Let's say you want to convert your USDT. You want to convert, let's say, 100 USDT. Then after you enter the amount of USDT you want to convert, you tap on preview conversion right here. And to show you the amount of BNP you are going to get for that conversion. So you can see it right here. And then once you tap on convert right here, you see that the conversion is successful and then you converted $100 to this price right here. So you can do this, let's say if you bought NGN through Cashlink. So if you bought NGN through Cashlink and it's showing in your funding wallet, then just transfer it to your spot wallet. And after you transfer it to your spot wallet, then you just crash right here to Binance Convert and convert that NGN to whatever cryptocurrency you want to convert it to. So you can see how simple it is. Now that I've talked about how to trade cryptocurrencies on Binance, the next thing is how do you earn passive income on Binance? Now there are different ways to earn passive income on Binance and to do that you come right here to where you have N right here. On that N right here you can see where you have Binance N, you tap on it. Now if you scroll down you see that you have simple N, staking, farming, royal investment and range bound. Now on that simple N, you have simple end self, you have BNB vote, and you have auto invest. On that staking, you have ETA 2.0 staking, DeFi staking, DOT slot auction. On that farming, you have liquidity farming, swap farming, knowledge pool. On that dual investment, you have dual investment self. And then on that rate bound, you have rate bound. Now, I'll only be talking about few ones and the most important ones you need to know. And the first one is simple end. Now, this simple way allows you to invest your cryptocurrencies to earn interest. Now, it can be flexible or locked simple series. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, let me tap on it right here. So, right here, I'm on the Binance Simple End page. And like I said earlier, it allows you to get interest by investing your cryptocurrencies. And this is for you if you have cryptocurrencies in your wallet that you're not using them to trade or do anything and it's just lying down there in your wallet. You can come and use them to earn interest right here on the simple end page. So this is how to do it. Now, once you scroll down, you will see that you have different cryptocurrencies that you can invest in right here. You can invest in Alpha, Calva, APE, APE, AXS, BAI, BTC, USDT, BNB, ETH, USDC. You can see everything right here. And if you want to see others, just tap right here. And you'll be seeing everything right here. So you can see there are a lot of cryptocurrencies you can invest in right here. Now, let me explain this to you. Now, the first thing is, let's for example, you want to invest in APA. You must have that APA cryptocurrency in your sports wallet. You must have it in your sports wallet. So whatever cryptocurrency you're investing in, you must have that cryptocurrency in your sports wallet. That's number one. Number two is that on that APR right here, this is showing you the amount you'll be earning per year on that cryptocurrency. So APR means annual percentage rate. So for ARPA, you're earning 32.84%. For KAVA, you are earning 24%. For APE, you are earning 44%, and so on. So you'll be seeing the percentage you'll be earning for each cryptocurrency. Now, right here, you can see you have flexible, and then beside it, you have some number of days. Right here, again, you have flexible, you have some number of days, and so on, like that. Now, this flexible or number of days will determine the amount of APR you get, that is, the amount of percentage of interest you get. Now, for flexible, flexible means that you can withdraw your money anytime or any day. So, for this flexible, if you invest in this cryptocurrency and you invest today, you can decide to withdraw your money tomorrow or next tomorrow, anytime. But if you pick 90 days, you can only withdraw your money after 90 days. So, let me pick on 90 days right here. So, you see, after picking 90 days, APR reduced. So, for flexible, you can see how many 32%. For 90, any 12% annually. So you need to take note of that. And you also need to take note that this 12% is annually, not for 90 days. No, 90 days is about three months. So if this is for one year, just divide it by, by four. 
that will be 30%. So you'll be earning about 3.7% for this 90 days. So you need to do your calculation right. And also, if you go to this KFDA, you can see that for flexible, I'm earning 21.8%. If I pick 30 days, as it's reduced to 12%, for 60 days, 14%, for 90 days, 16%, for 120 days, 24%. So, whichever number of days of flexible you are picking to determine the APR will be any. So, and if you want to subscribe, then just come here to where you have subscribe right here and enter the amount of that cryptocurrency you want to use to subscribe or invest. And that is all. And you'll be earning your percentage of your interest every day. You'll be seeing it on by your N wallet. You see it on by your N wallet. Remember, I said that for N wallet, that's where you can see the cryptocurrencies where you are using to earn passive income, or that you are staking, or that you are saving. So you'll be seeing your interest every day right there. Don't forget for flexible, you can withdraw anytime. So this is for simple N. Now, the next one, which I love the most, is auto invest. Now, auto invest allows you to invest your cryptocurrency using the dollar cost averaging method, that is DCA method. Now, I've made a video about this, how to do auto invest on Binance and how to make money with it. I made a video with, about that. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. But just to let you know what auto invest is all about, it allows you to invest your cryptocurrencies using the dollar cost averaging method. Now, how do you do that? The first thing you need to do is to come here and pick the cryptocurrency you want to invest. So let's say for example, out of all these cryptocurrencies, you want to invest in ETH. Let's pick ETH for example. So you can see right here, this is showing you the historical ROI. That is for five years. That is, if you invested in ETH five years ago, you would have made 406% profit, which is huge. If you invested three years ago, you would have made 82%. If you invested one year ago, by now you will be able to 22%. If you invested six months ago, 17%. If you invested three months ago, you just earned 2%. If you invested seven days ago, you went 0.19 percent. And right here, you'll be seeing the current price of that cryptocurrency. So let's go straight to the points. Let's say we want to invest using the auto invest plan for this ETH. Come here to where you have created plan. And right here, you enter the amount per period. So let's, for example, you want to invest ten dollars. This is just for example. And then next thing is, do you want to invest daily or weekly? So that means you want to invest that ten dollars daily or weekly or bi-weekly or every month. So let's say for example, how to invest that $10 every week. Then next thing is to select which day of the week. So let's say every Monday right here, I'll leave it on Monday. And then select the time. What's local time? Is this 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.? Let me pick 6 a.m. And then you see the date when it will begin. So the first auto invest cycle will begin on 2023 at 6 a.m. And right here, you will see the amount of a period. So I'll be investing 10 USDT every week and then you come here and tick this box and tap on confirm now this is that you must have usdt in your spot wallet already so that means that let's for example you have one thousand dollars in your wallet already you have one thousand usdt in your wallet already that means that every monday at 6 a.m you should be taking ten dollars to help you invest in eth every monday so this means that you are investing in ETH using the dollar cost averaging method which is the best way to invest in any cryptocurrency for maximum profit. So that is very, very nice. And I love this about Binance. Since when they've introduced it, I've taught a lot of people how to do this. And for people that want to really invest in cryptocurrencies, this is the best way for you to do that. Just go and deposit like maybe $1,500 worth of you know, USDT in your spot wallet and set up this plan. You don't have to worry about anything. Binance will help you invest in the cryptocurrency every week or every day or every month, depending on how you've picked your plan so that's for the auto invest and then the next thing i'll be showing you is the launch part now for the launch part this is another thing i love a lot about binance a lot of people always ask me questions about this now to learn about the launch part you come here to where you have n right here and you pick this launch part right here now right here is the launch part page on binance now the launch part on binance allows you to get new cryptocurrencies for free on the app. Now, how do you do that? Now, whenever Binance is listing a new cryptocurrency on the platform, they do put it on the launch pad page or maybe sometimes on the launch pool page. So there's launch pad and launch pool. So they put it on the launch pad page or the launch pool page. And then they give a period of time for you to earn it for free. Now, there are some activities you need to do to earn it for free. Now, you can see the recent cryptocurrencies that have been posted here. You can see this one is finished right here, so I can't end this one again. 
because see this one too is completed so these are the recent ones that we just finished on this platform as long as there is a new cryptocurrency that is posted there right here i would have shown you how to do that on this page but there is none right now but if you really want to learn how to earn free cryptocurrencies on this launch pad or launch page on binance i have videos for both where i'm going to be learning a step-by-step -step guide on how to earn free cryptocurrencies from the launch pad and launch pool so these are the different ways you can earn passive income on Binance. You have the simple end, you have the BNB vault, you have the auto invest, and then you have launch pad. There are other ones, but these are the top ones that I always advise people to use. So you can use whichever one you feel comfortable with out of all these ones that I've mentioned. Lastly, if you come to where you have spent right here, you can see that you have some options right here. You have Binance card, you have Binance loans, and then you have Binance Pay and Binance gift card. Now, how do you use these four different options? Now, let's go to Binance card. Now, at the time of recording this video, the Binance card is not available in my country, but I already registered for it. So whenever it's available in my country, I can get it. Basically, it allows you to spend your crypto anywhere you want to go. Maybe you want to go for shopping, you can use your Binance card and you get up to 8% BNB cash back every time you make an eligible purchase with your card. And this is for people that have the card already. Now, the last one is the Binance loans. Now, for Binance loans, this allows you to borrow money to take trades on maybe to do spot trading or margin trading or futures trading. So you can get loans from Binance to take out your trades. Now, the next one I want to show you is the Binance Pay. Now, in case you don't know, the Binance Pay allows you to send cryptocurrency with zero fees. Now, you can remember when I was showing you how to transfer crypto from Binance to Bybit so that I was paying about 2 USDT as my fee. But if you're using your Binance Pay, you're not going to be paying any fee at all if you are sending or receiving cryptocurrencies. And this is just how to do that. Let's say, for example, you want to send cryptocurrency to another Binance user. Just come to your Binance Pay and tap on send right here. The next thing is to enter the person's email, or you enter the person's phone number, or you enter the person's pay ID, or you enter the person's finance ID. You enter any of these four details of the recipient. And once you enter that, then you have to enter the amount of cryptocurrency you want to send and the kind of cryptocurrency you are sending, and then you confirm payment. And that is just it. You are sending crypto to another person without paying any fee. So the next time you want to send crypto to another Binance user, ensure you're using Binance Pay so that you can avoid paying fees. That's for Binance Pay. So those are the main and important things you should learn about the Binance platform as a beginner. Now, if you watched this video to this point, that means that you've learned a lot from this video. Now, if you want to learn further, or if you want to learn how to make money with crypto trading, you want to learn how to trade crypto for money and make it even a source of income for yourself, then you can reach out for my course, the complete crypto trading course for beginners to show you the step-by-step -step guide and everything you need to do to trade crypto for profit and even make it a source of income for yourself. The link to register for the course will be in the description below or you check the pinned comment in the comment section if you have any questions about binance or anything i've talked about in this video please drop them in the comment section i know this video will be too long but if you have friends who want to learn about binance they can give them this video to watch just share this video with your friends who are new to binance if you know anyone who is a beginner in crypto send this video to the person to learn how to use the binance app to buy sell and trade cryptocurrencies thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye